Alabama Department of Environmental Management is hitting the Pritchard Water Works and Sewer Board with a hefty fine for multiple violations of permits over the course of four years. A consent order was issued back in September. It cited violations from 2019 through January of 2022. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. At Karis, the fine is nearly a quarter of a million dollars and it could really land the utility company in some very hot water. Yes, it has a price tag of $234,675. And because the water board says a leak in the Alabama village has cost them nearly $1.5 million, it could severely hurt the board. A consent order from ADEM was issued on September 12, 2022, citing the Pritchard Water Board for violations from 2019 through January 2022. The violations including failure to submit reports as required, failure to report sewer overflows as required, failure to monitor and limit discharges, and failure to maintain equipment. The Pritchard Water Board reported over 150 sanitary sewer overflows from February 2021 to January 2022. But ADEM says Pritchard Water failed to notify them of those overflows on at least 33 occasions. The board is required to report those to ADEM within 24 hours. On at least five different occasions, the Pritchard Water Board also failed to notify the public of the overflows within 24 hours. ADEM found in its determination that the fine amount was, quote, in consideration of the standard of care manifested by the permittee. The department is enhancing the penalty, end quote. ADEM says some of the violations were easily avoidable, saying if required monitoring, record keeping, discharge monitoring reports, and maintenance were submitted on time. The agency also enhanced the penalty based on the Water Board's previous history of violations. Pritchard Water agreed to pay the fine within 45 days after the order was issued. It is possible that they could offset some of the penalty by implementing a supplemental environmental project. But the board's problems didn't end with this order. In late October, Adam cited the utility company again for failing to submit sufficient samples for testing of lead and copper dating from June of 2022 to September of that same year. Keep in mind that this is the same time frame that the board was without a treatment plan operator. That position has now been filled by Dan McCrory. After they were cited, the water board did submit samples and they were tested for lead and copper. All of the levels were within the acceptable limits. I reached out to chairman of the board, Russell Heidelberg, and board person John Johnson for a comment today, but I have yet to hear anything from either of them or what this means for the Pritchard Water Board. Kim?